Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Kajemka with your Political News Roundup for Monday, January 31st. Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak seems to be passing the olive branch after agreeing to meet with rival political parties. Some say this is an act of desperation as the president tries anything to stop the deadly protests that have taken over his country. These rival political parties that Mubarak agreed to meet with include Muslim-based parties that he says uses religion to spread fear. Mubarak also appointed a new cabinet this morning in hopes of quieting the protesters. Meanwhile, American leaders are full of advice for the Egyptian president. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton advised a peaceful, orderly transition to a democratic regime. Clinton also praised the country's military for trying to bring a sense of order. No word on whether the U.S. would provide a sanctuary for Mubarak in the event that he does get driven out of his country. According to a new Gallup poll, 90% of Republicans are willing to embrace Tea Party ideas. This just a week after a rift formed between the two because the Tea Party offered its own response to President Obama's State of the Union address. Additionally, a smaller but still significant 70% of Americans across all political parties think the Tea Party should help lead the GOP going forward. And the government is suggesting Americans cut back on their salt. According to new guidelines put out by the Agriculture and Health and Human Services Departments, people should cut their intake to about half a teaspoon a day. These guidelines are rewritten every five years. And that's your Political News Roundup for Monday, January 31st. I'm Sarah Kajomko. Have a great night.